All right, so let's look at this video on uh, solving linear equations that have decimals in them. Uh, I'll do some more on this. I've got some on fractions, and I'll do I'll try to do several videos on this with different types of uh, problems that you can come across. So check those out. Check out my other videos and and give me a subscribe. I appreciate you watching. All right, so. The, the thing that you've got to know here is that whenever you multiply a number by 10, that's going to move the decimal one place to the right. A hundred will move the decimal two places to the right. A thousand will move it three places to the right. Ten thousand moves it four places to the right and so on. You can see however many zeros you have behind the one that's how many places to the right it's going to move the decimal all right so let's look at let's look at this problem you can see what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the decimals it just makes it easier to solve all right so you can see here in each of these decimals we have to move the decimal two places to the right to get rid of it. See, two places here, 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 and here. Okay, and, and, and before I start the problem, I do realize that we could subtract 0.03x to both sides and it would get rid of both of those. Okay, you see that? But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. Okay, because you may you, you may run across a problem where instead of a three this is two, okay. So let's just go ahead and and leave it for now. You know, so in case you don't notice that and you do go and multiply everything through by a hundred, because we have to move it two places to the right, and you go ahead and multiply everything by a hundred, it'll still come out the same. And actually, when the video is over, why why don't you rework the problem and Go ahead and cancel these out, subtract the 0.03x to both sides, and you'll be left with just the 0.04x plus 0.06 equals 1.46. Work that and see that you get the same answer. It'll be good practice for you. All right, so let's look at this. So we need to multiply each term by 100. So let's do that. So I've got 100 times 0.04x okay and I'm not going to put the zero before the decimal point you can you don't have to it, it makes no difference all right plus and then a hundred times 0 0.06 plus and then a hundred times 0 0.03x equals and then a hundred times 0 0.03x plus and then a hundred times 1.46 okay all right so we've multiplied everything by a hundred and we know what it's going to do it's going to move the decimal two places to the right and so here we'll end up with 4x okay plus and then this would be 6 plus and then we have 3x equals and then this would be 3x plus and then this would be 146 all right so let's combine like terms so I get 7x 4x plus 3x plus 6 equals 3x plus 146. All right, now remember solving an equation. Everything with an x has to go to one side. Everything that doesn't have an x has to go to the other side. So I'm going to move the 3x over here. So I would subtract 3x to both sides. And then the 6, I need to move it over here. So I'm going to subtract 6 to both sides. So I end up with, 
and I'm going to come over here, I end up with 4x equals 140. All right, and then I will divide both sides by 4, and that leaves me with x equals, and then 140 divided by 4 is 35. Okay. All right, so let's look at the next one. <clears throat> All right, so in this problem, let's see here to get rid of the decimal. See, I would have to move it one, two, three places. Here two, here two, here three, and here two. Okay, so I can't multiply this by a thousand and this one by a thousand and then multiply these three by a hundred. You have to multiply each term by the same number. So we multiply it by, well, we, we look at the most places we need to move the decimal, decimal, which in this case is 3. So that means I'm going to have to multiply everything by 1,000. Okay, And that, that'll get rid of the decimals here, here, and here also. All right, so here we go. We got 1,000 times 0 0.006x minus and then a thousand times 0 0.02x plus and then I've got a thousand times 0 0.03 equals and then a thousand times 0 0.008x plus and then a thousand times point two five. All right. So moving the decimal three places here, that would give me six x minus. Now look at this point zero two times a thousand. Okay. Let's just look at the coefficient of the variable. I'm moving it three places to the right, so that's one two, three. So I have to add a zero. So that would give me what? 20. So minus 20x plus, and then what would this be? That would be 30. See, one, two, three. I'd have to add a zero. And that equals, what is that? 8x plus, and then moving this one three places, one, two, three, I'd have to add a zero. So that would be 250. All right, now let's combine like terms. So 6x minus 20x, that's negative 14x plus 30 equals 8x plus 250. Okay, and once again, everything with an x has to come to one side. Everything that doesn't have an x goes to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 8x to both sides. Okay, I'm going to bring the 8x over here, and I'm going to take the 30 over here. So here I would subtract 30 to both sides, and that is going to give me negative 22x okay, plus, plus 220, and then 220 divided by 22 is, whoop, now let me write all that out. That should be an equal sign there. All right, so I'm going to divide everything by negative 22. And so that's going to give me x is equal to, and that would be negative 10. And so this would be my answer. All right. So now, let's look at the last problem. All right, so here I need to multiply by 2, De uh, I mean 100 to move it two decimal places, and here I need to multiply by 100 to move it two decimal places, and there's no other decimals, okay? All right, so I've got 100 
times 0 0.09x plus, and then I've got 100 times 0.13 times x plus 300 equals 100 times 61. All right, so here we've got 9x plus, now let's look when we multiply this. This right here is like multiplying three numbers together. The 100 is a number, the 0.13 is a number, and then the x plus 300, we look at that as being a number also because it's in parentheses, so we look at that by itself. So what a lot of students do is they'll multiply 100 times this and then 100 times the x and the 100 times the 300. You don't do that. You multiply the 100 times the 0.13, which is 13, and then this is multiplied times the x plus 300. Think of it like this. Say if you're multiplying 2 times 3 times 4. Let's say you're multiplying those three numbers together. Say this would be like your 100, your 0.13, and your x plus 300. When you multiply this, what do you do? You do 2 times 3 is 6, and then 6 times 4 is 24. Okay? You don't do 2 times 3 and then 2 times 4. Okay? So, so don't make that mistake. All right. <clears throat> and then that is equal to, now the 61, remember, there's a decimal there. So we move it 1, 2 places, and so we have to add two zeros. And so that's equal to 6,100. All right. Now we have to clear the parentheses. So we're going to have to multiply each term by 13. All right. So that's going to be 9x plus 13x plus, and then 13 times 300 is 3,900 equals 6100. Okay, so I'm going to combine like terms, so that's 22x plus 3900 equals 6100. And then the 3900 I'm going to move over to the right hand side, so I'm going to subtract it to both sides. Okay. So that's going to give me 22x is equal to, let's see, 6100 minus 3900. That is 2200. And then I need to divide both sides by 22. And that gives me x equals 100. And there's my answer. All right, so this video was kind of long, but I hope it helped. I'll try to do some more with the decimals, uh, you know, maybe try to find some different types of problems. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. Thanks.